my name is Olivia. I'm from Houston, Texas. This is my assistant, Elena, also from Houston. And today we are going to try out some Osis products we got. I wanted to kind of demonstrate and have you guys see what I think of them while I'm using it in real time. So I went ahead and curled Elena's left side without any of the Osis products. And then we are going to curl this side together using the Osis products and see if there's a difference and see how we like it. Um, Elena has long, thick, textured hair, so we need a product that's going to be able to support her, te her texture and support her length without weighing it down. My goal is for her to have like some beachy texture, some grip in here, so let's see what Osis can bring to the table. The number one elastic and kind of prep her whole side of this head for me to go over with a curling iron. doesn't leave a super sticky residue, which I really like for a prep before I go in with a curling iron or a flat iron. Sometimes products will leave like a really sticky, old school hairspray type of residue and it just makes kinks in the hair and it's too much and too heavy. So I like that it's really lightweight. Okay, so it's definitely sticking a lot better than the other side, of course. And it's not too much, like I like that it doesn't have a smell coming off of it, um, which is always good when you're doing your curling. Yeah, it's definitely holding a lot better, especially for a number one, like the lightest weight hairspray. It's actually holding pretty well. So this would be good, like a number one would be good on like people with finer hair, shorter hair, that don't want a lot of product. That would be perfect for them. For her, since she has thick hair, it works as like a prep spray. But if you had fine hair, it would work as an everyday hairspray. We're gonna go in with freeze, which is the next step up from the elastic and see if this is a little bit stronger in her hair. I feel like the first one was good. It was a good prep spray, but I wanna see a little more um, stronger hold from freeze. So let's see if it is. that's holding a little bit better. So if I had to choose, I honestly would probably prep with the number two freeze instead of elastic, just because she has a lot of hair. I wanna make sure this can wear all throughout the day. And this one is actually holding a little bit better, I've noticed. So I say if you have long, thick hair, number two is the way to go. And then we will try number three at the end hairspray and see how that works. So far I am liking the number two the most on her. It's actually holding really well at the top right here and around her face frame. And she had just recently cut her bangs so we're gonna need some good product to help disguise that a little bit. <laughs> so let her sit for a little bit and I teased a little bit and went ahead and used a little bit of the dust it and so far I like it. Um, I'm going to take these pins out. Okay. So I really want to use this. I love dust it. I love it as like when you have a little bit of oily hair, it kind of soaks that up, but it also gives you grip and height without actually having to go in and totally tease. We're going to try it a little bit in her hair around the front to give her that beautiful swoop with her bangs. And then I'm actually going to sprinkle some a little bit at the top just to give her a lift like that. Okay, so one thing I noticed, if you want to tilt down for me, it has texture to it, which I like, because that's gonna help bump these fibers up like it already has. 
So when I comb over and I push up, it's going to give it that grip and texture it needs to hold. And I kind of like to pinch it. Yeah, you see that difference right in here compared to this side? Just gives it more of that textured look, that beachy look that I'm going for. So let me do this side. Yeah, I really like it. And it comes out really easily of the bottle, but not enough to dump the whole thing on her head, which I like because that will happen and I've done it before. I like that it has texture to the powder. Some powders are too soft and it's more of like a free form dry shampoo and I don't really like that. I need this to have texture and perform to where it'll last on her and give her that bump that she needs to go through the day. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get this rim right here just to give her that perfect sweetheart tuck around her. sexy texture and gets her the right amount of volume without looking too teased. We all know those people that look a little too teased. I'm going to run my fingers through these waves to loosen them up so that way it looks purposeful and not just like she rolled out of bed. So far I really like what I'm using and what I see and what I smell so far on her, especially because she has a high standard for her hair. She has thick hair, long hair, I need products to work, and this is working really, 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 really well. One thing I do wanna show y'all that I used a little bit of and I'm obsessed with is the wind touch look for after I'm done. It gives it that grip that I need to just kind of piece off some of these waves and have them stand out a little bit more than just a messy, sexy look. This is actually going to help define the whole style as a whole. So, this is actually pretty sticky, but also creamy. As you can see, it's not dripping down my hand, which I love, but it's soft. You wanna feel it? It's like cream. It's like soft. It's, really soft. it's not like that sticky like touch. It's like I can rub it into my hands and it can kind of, you know, rip into my hands. But I'm just going to pinch and place where I want the pulls to go. And I like to pinch and pull up just to give her some more volume so this can go out and not just straight down. She is pretty tall, so I don't want to necessarily make her look taller. I want this to kind of even out her frame. But for me, I love it as like that beachy. It's almost like a beach spray, but in a cream form. And it's really lightweight. And this is like really easy to work with. I love that my hands aren't sticking to all these hairs that are coming out and pulling it out and making it look messier. It's kind of gripping all together and defining these waves right where I'm like squeezing and pushing up. This is giving her volume in a good way, in a lightweight way where this isn't going to fall on her in 30 minutes and be a huge mess. This is actually something that is buildable but also realistic. When it comes to like messy, sexy bangs, I like to see a little bit of these popping out through the forehead, kind of like wispy pieces. And so I like that it's allowing these pieces to fall forward and not just stick to her. Right. Okay, so this is the finished look. Overall, I would say 10 out of 10. My favorite product out of all of them has to be Wind Touch and the Osis Dust It. I really, really like this. Um, I could use this on anybody. I could use it on myself. I could probably dust this in when my hair is oily and blow dry it into my hair to give it some volume. 
on my days when my hair's a little dirty. But for her, for someone with thick hair, I would definitely go with number two and three. The number one was almost a little too lightweight, but it would be perfect on somebody who has finer hair as their finishing spray.